Well, hello, stampers. It's the Pampered Stamper, and I have decided to do a bunch of videos showcasing some core products that I use in my Stampin' Up! business and in my card-making hobby. What you're looking at here is the new Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine, and it's just this nice, compact, lovely white and gray and silver machine and it folds up beautifully it has a wonderful carrying handle this one the handle to turn it is just lovely i can't say enough good things about this machine and i have to say look it opens up like this so that's really nice the people that came to my one in-person class that had not tried this machine yet couldn't believe how much nicer they liked it so i ordered this one to use in holland so it comes with the machine and it comes with this handle. The handle is the only thing that you have to put on and it's super simple to do. This little guide that comes with it shows you how to, it tells you exactly how to attach the handle. Um, position the handle in the machine, slide the washer onto the screw, then insert the screw and washer through the handle onto the crankshaft. There's an Allen wrench that's included. It's so easy to do. So that's really nice. The second thing is, it, all the plates are come with it and they have numbers on them. So I'm gonna go backwards. Four, the clear plates are number three, and there's two of them. They look like perfectly, you can hardly see, you can see right through them. Once you start using it, they will get scratched up. Okay, that's normal. So there's two number threes, there's a number two, and then the base is number one. And what's so nice about it is that each piece tells you how to use it. So for example, this one, and it says, place die cutting edge down. So the, the, the part that cuts has to go down, which makes sense, but you can feel for the sharp edge and it goes down. So you use number one, number two, and two threes to go with your paper and your die. And then it talks about embossing. So for embossing, you only need number one and two number threes. And it shows you exactly where to put the embossing folder in between the two number three layers. When you're using a 3D embossing folder, it's a little thicker, so you're only using number one and number four, which was the gray one. Now, I'm going to show you this in action with some dies, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is use the thin dies. So we need number one, we need number two, and we need two number three. So I'm going to get my paper and my die. So I'll put those in the machine. There we go. And I have some paper. This is soft succulent. And I have a really nice die. Let's have a peek. I'm going to use this, just this big open die for now. Okay. And we're just going to lay that on. And the die has a little bit of an edge, you'll see. So that edge has to go down. So I'm laying that on my paper. I don't know how well you guys can see. I think it's good. And now I put the second number three plate on. And then you just lay it down and you crank it through. And it goes all the way through. And then you can crank it back so that it's back in the front for you to take it out. Okay, so here we go. And now there's the die and there's the cutout. So I'm just going to lay that aside because it doesn't really look like much right now, does it? But it's going to be a really cool piece. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to take a different die. I have to find it. Let's have a look-see. So our dies come in a set. These are called the Merriest Frames dies. And so it came with all of those, but I want this one right here. And I want this stitched, this one. So now I'm going to take a piece of white cardstock and I'm gonna lay it on here. Then I'm going to put this one on and it just fits. And then I'm going to kind of try to put that right in the middle so that it's straight. That looks good. Then we put plate number three on top, carefully, and now we're gonna crank it through. And we're gonna see what happens. And after this, we're going to see what it looks like when we use an embossing folder, okay? So now we take away the plate, we take away the die, and I'm gonna show you how pretty this is. So now we have a pretty frame. See, I'm gonna put it aside and we have this little middle piece. See all the little stitched edges? It's really pretty. Now we have what's called an embossing folder. The Merriest Frames Hybrid Embossing Folder. So let's take a look what that is. 
I'm hoping I have another piece of white laying handy. I do. So now we're going to put a piece of white inside the embossing folder. Open up your embossing folder. This is normally quite an easy task. There. Lay this in the middle. Close it up. And now, what do I do for an embossing folder? Let's have a look. This is a 3D embossing folder. So using with 3D embossing folders, I need number one and number four. And it tells me also to, let's have a look here, insert embossing folders hinge first. Okay, so the hinge is where it folds. So here we go, number four. And now we're going to just push it through. Now, are you ready for this? This is so exciting, honestly. I love what you can do with plain paper and the embossing folder. So we open it up and take a look how nice that is. Isn't that stunning? Now, one more thing I'm going to show you, because this is a hybrid. So do you remember this plain piece that we put through? I'm going to lay it on here, line it up. There, that looks about right. Close it. And now we're going to run this one through. So number one and number four. And now we're going to see how beautiful this is going to turn out. And you know what? Your kids can do this with you. It's that much fun. And actually, guys like to do this. So if you want to turn Christmas card making into something that the whole family does, honestly, this is a really fun activity. You will not have a shortage of volunteers. Look how pretty that is. I'm going to just lay it on here. See all the detail? Yeah, it's lovely. So now, remember that piece we cut out at the beginning? This green one? You can layer it like so. Now I have finished a card. I'm just, I just, I chose this because I want to make a card with this piece on it. So then you combine it with your pattern paper. And in the end, I'm going to have a really lovely Christmas card. Super simple. And it can go either way, up and down or sideways. And then see, here I have a thing that I stamped on, and then it's going to go on a card. Here is a finished card for you to see. And so this is honestly one tool that I use all the time, every single day in my business. Now, it is an investment because tools usually are. And the reason I'm telling you about it today is because you can still get this as part of your starter kit and you can save a lot of money. So this tool is $163, but the starter kit is worth $165. So you can put this in a starter kit and pay no shipping and tax, and you can get a free stamp set and die set for free in addition to it. So if you want to know how to take advantage of that, let me know, send me a message, comment on this video, and I'll help you do that and get a great deal and get started on a fun hobby. All right, guys, have a super day. Thank you for joining me. I'm really excited to share this with you. Bye.